everyone, it's Warren from NQ Explorers. Today I'm in Garland, Texas at the home of Garrett Metal Detectors and this is the Garrett factory right here behind me. We're going to go in there today and meet a few of the key personnel and have a look around the factory. So come with me and we'll have a quick look around. I'm here in the Garrett Museum with Brent Weaver, the Chief Engineer of Garrett Metal Detectors. Uh, the brainchild of uh, Brent is the ATX and also the AT uh, all-terrain machines. Uh, Brent, the thing is the ATX, uh, it's out there in Australia finding a lot of gold now. Um, and, and you guys spent a lot of time and money testing that machine in Australian conditions. Yes, absolutely. We, uh, we spent several trips uh, to Australia, uh, weeks at a time, touring mostly Western Australia, uh, understanding all of the mineralized conditions, all the uh, all the various uh, environments that you're dealing with over there, making sure that we had all the bases covered, making sure the machine could truly handle any sort of environment that we uh, subject it to, including the iron stone, including the salt flats, uh, and anything in between. So the logic there is that uh, if, if a metal detector works in Western Australia, it'll just work anywhere in the world pretty much. Yes, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's the perception, but it's also the reality. You know, we, we certainly, when we make these trips, we take our, we not only take our uh, detectors with us, but we take uh, lots of instrumentation to uh, measure the ground, uh, quantify its mineralization, its uh, quantify and qualify the mineralization, the type of mineralization, uh, and the uh, the density or the, uh, the 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 consistency of the, of the mineralization. And certainly, you know, I have samples, uh, ground testing samples from all over the world. Uh, Australia, Western Australia in particular, is certainly some of the most intense uh, ground conditions that, that we can find. Yeah, so uh, what I really like about the ATX personally is that you've got all that great technology and you've packaged it into uh, that mill spec uh, rugged case that you can knock around in the back of the four wheel drive. It's just going to, and the extreme heat and the conditions we get in Australia, the ATX has no problem dealing with that at all. Yes, absolutely. You know, as you mentioned, it was designed, that, that package was designed for. Uh, military applications, mm -hmm. uh, so it's very rugged. It can handle temperature extremes, uh, obviously all environmental extremes, yes. uh, heat and rain and, and, and moisture of any kind. Uh, you know, it's designed to be military strong. Okay, and the pulse system on the ATX, it's a, it is a very high end metal detector. It's a, uh, uh, a multi-frequency, multi-pulse machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, if you, if you, if you look at the uh, the various pulse detectors that exist on the market. You have your, your simplest pulse machines, which are a single pulse machine uh, that are non-ground balancing. Uh, those, are, those are detectors that, that are typically exclusively used for, for the beach, for example, the Sea Hunter or something like this. Uh, the next step in advancement there is to have a ground balancing pulse machine. Uh, and those, the, those can still be a single pulse detector uh, and this, this pulse channel is, is, is able to ground balance, which means you can neutralize the ground. The problem with that sort of technology is when you ground balance out uh, the ground, you can also ground balance out any target that has a decay characteristic that's similar to the ground. Uh, we call this the, the detection hole. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, it's a hole in the, in, the, in the conductivity. If you look at the conductivity of gold or, or any material, and you look at the conductivity spectrum, uh, the, the decay rate of, of that pulse, uh, pulse decay is a function of the conductivity of the material and also the, the, the thickness and the shape of the material. All factors into the effect of conductivity. For a ground balancing pulse detector, again, if the conductivity of the ground is similar to the conductivity of the target, when you ground balance out the ground, you also ground balance the out the target. Yeah. To eliminate that problem, you create a second pulse, uh, which is substantially different than the first pulse, mm -hmm. uh, such that when you ground balance out the ground on the second pulse, its conductivity decay, uh, as far as the target is concerned, the conductivity decay on the first pulse and that on the second pulse do not match each other. Okay. And as a result, as you ground balance out the ground on the first pulse, you create a hole as you ground balance out the ground using the second pulse, it also creates a hole, but it's in a different location. So you still detect the target. Exactly. Yeah. And so those two pulses working together in unison, working simultaneously, 
one will always fill in the hole of the other. And they overlap such that you never have a detection hole. Mm -hmm. If you only have a single pulse detector and it ground balances, it will have a detection hole. Right. And there are various products on the market um, that are, some are less expensive than the ATX, some are more expensive than the ATX, uh, but if they're a single pulse detector, they're going to have a hole in their detection, mm. period. And potentially you're missing gold. You're gonna miss gold. Mm. You're absolutely gonna miss gold. Right. Now where that hole falls depends on the mineralization conditions uh, and where the ground balance the is set yeah. for the detector. Sure. Yeah. And so as the ground balance shifts, the hole shifts with it. Yeah. And, and if you have a detector, for example, that has continuous ground tracking, such that you cannot switch it off. Well, as that ground track uh, moves around for the various ground condition, the hole moves around with it, okay. and these targets are disappearing in the, into that hole. They will, will not be detected. And you never know where your hole is at any time. So you don't know where your hole is. It's moving around. Exactly. Okay. Um, again, as I mentioned, to, to eliminate that problem, the more advanced, the most advanced detectors, like the ATX, uh, use multiple pulse technology. They don't just have one single pulse that repeats. Mm -hmm. They have different kinds of pulses, and those pairs repeat. Okay. Okay. So, you know, that, that's again, that's that's one distinction between a, a true high-end performance product like the ATX mm -hmm. versus some of the other products on the market uh, that, that that are good products and they're ground balancing pulse detectors. But if they're a single pulse technology, they have a hole in their detection and okay. will miss targets. Yeah. Well, that's uh, Brent Weaver, senior engineer here at Garrett Metal Detectors. Uh, I'd like to thank Brent on behalf of all us detectorists on uh, that brilliant machine, the ATX. Absolutely.